All right, guys, welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today, I'm going to go over an article where a woman shares her story about how she can't get her wealthy boyfriend to marry her. And she goes into her story and talks about the situation with him, where basically she's in a very good relationship. She's very happy. They have a good time together, all that. But she wants that goddamn ring on her finger. And this guy, as it turns out, he's an extremely successful young guy. She says how he started a company when he was 23 years old. And then over the course of a few years, he got to the point that he's making millions of dollars a year. And of course, she's benefiting from all this in terms of all the fun vacations and great lifestyle and all that. And it's all great. But like I said, she wants that ring. And it's frustrating her and driving her crazy because he won't do that. This guy, she describes him as very protective of his money. And it's amazing because this guy, he has wisdom well beyond his years. And you're going to see this through the article. And this guy definitely gets it. Maybe he had a great mentor. Maybe he's been watching you know, great channels on YouTube, read a lot of great books, understanding female nature. Who knows? But this guy, he's got it going on. And guys, you're going to take two things away from this video. I want you to pay attention to two things. First thing, as I said... Women want that goddamn ring on their finger, okay? No ifs, ands, or buts about that. And it's for multiple reasons. One, obviously, has to do with status, okay? Status is important to women. I mean, at the end of the day, any good-looking woman, woman, she could get guys lining up three city blocks to sleep with her. But to get a guy to actually commit to her, to want to marry her, that's a different ballgame. And let alone the type of guy she wants to marry her, to commit to her. And also, guys, it's also about the attention, her special magical day, and I'm being sarcastic with that. She gets to be the bride, the dress, the center of attention, all that. They want that. Now, okay, there are some that may not, but by and large, most women want that. And the other reason is, for the obvious, security. That guarantee that once that rings on that goddamn finger, she's got the guy. Okay, she now has access to his resources and she's locked in. And as we know, it's a much better favorable environment for women compared to men. The second thing I want you to take away from this article, and you're not going to hear me say this very often, is that in this particular situation, when I tell when I read her story, you're going to see that she really respects this dude. She really admires him, and you can tell by the way she writes. And I've told you guys time and time again, Women are drawn to and attracted to and respect guys that they perceive as being higher status than them. Not just making more money, but higher status. These are obviously guys that are business owners, executives, obviously celebrities and things like that. The top percent of men. And of course, the high earners. And you're going to see the way she describes him. Guys, for those of you that are into dating and relationships because I know there's plenty of you that watch this channel, the way she talks about him, and you can see respects him, which is rare, this is what you want. If you're going to do that, this is what you want. Why would you want a relationship where the woman you're dating or an exclusive relationship kind of sees you as like, eh, settling. That sucks. But you want one that really respects you, admires you, because she's going to see you different, She's going to treat you different, and she sure as hell is going to fuck you different compared to just some average dude she settled with, okay? So pay attention to that. And that's why I'm on you guys all the time about improving yourselves and your lives so that you can have a better quality of life, you know? The higher status you are, the more money you make, you can enjoy life better, and it gives you freedom. That's so important. Believe me on this, okay? But also, for those of you guys that date and want relationships... A byproduct of that success and ambition and drive is going to improve your uh, options and the quality of women in terms of looks and body type and attitude and all that. And you'll have a much better, you'll be treated so much better. And that's what you want. Because again, why would you want to settle with somebody that could take or leave you? That sucks. Life is short. So I'm going to go through your article here. I want you to pay attention to both those things. It's a very good story. So the title of the article is, Long-term wealthy boyfriend doesn't want to marry. She starts off saying, My boyfriend and I have been together for three years, and we are very happy. The problem is, anytime marriage comes up, he states he doesn't want to get married under any circumstances. 
smart man. Citing that the risk of divorce and its financial downfalls isn't enough to outweigh the very small positives of marriage. He is 30 and started a business at 23 and 26, which has made him incredibly successful, earning over $5 million per year, but he is also very protective of his money. Well, I salute this guy for being so successful early in life. That is awesome. I am 27 and also make good money. And she says in parentheses, 90000 a year. That's really good. 27 years old, that's really good. And have always dreamed of the classic American life of getting married and having kids and the white picket fence. It is amazing how that fantasy, which she described, is sold so well to the masses. It's all nice in movie and TV, but in real life, it's not quite the same. He is the most amazing guy I've ever known. We never fight even about this sore subject and loves me unconditionally. So what's the problem? She admires him. You can see it right here. She says he's amazing. They hardly ever fight. He loves her unconditionally. She says they're very happy. But she still wants that goddamn ring, right? (laughs) He has stated every time we talk that he wants to live with me, have kids with me, wants us to be together forever, and set up his, our will, and testament, insurance policies, health care, power of attorney, etc., in the same regards as if we were married. This sounds great. What's the problem? Well, we know the problem. It isn't 100% guaranteed. It isn't 100% insured. This dude, who makes millions of dollars a year, has all these things, if she screws up, If she pisses him off, she's out of there. But with that goddamn ring, then she has insurance. Goes on to say, and this is great, there is no common law marriages in our state. I would like to know what state that is. The the lawyers he uses are his friends, and they agree in his scenario he shouldn't get married as a divorce would certainly hurt his retirement, businesses, and money. They, say even, they even say a marriage is essentially a shortcut legal contract that is a catch-all for courts to help sort, out, sort issues out, and removing that option protects an individual immensely. He's very smart. He's listening to his lawyer friends. Guys, remember I've told you about choosing your friends carefully? You want to have friends in your inner circle, even if it's a couple guys, that have your back, that will tell you how it is, even if you don't like it, that back you, support you, all that. If they didn't give a shit about him, or if they were secretly envious, they could say, yeah, go ahead, get married, because they know what would happen. No, these guys had this dude's back. That's awesome. That's what your brothers, your good friends, should be. This guy's got it made. She says here, and, and listen to this part, guys. She says, my sister, on the other hand, hates the idea, and has told me dozens of times to issue an ultimatum. And if he doesn't agree to marry me, to move on. There you go. So she's got her sister trying to manipulate the situation. She's happy as can be, great life, all these great things. Guy loves her unconditionally, wants to have kids, the whole nine yards. But her sister is on her, say, give an ultimatum. And what do you want to bet that that sister knows darn well this guy, given his success, what he has, and no doubt that he probably can get any chick he wants. I mean, not movie stars, but damn good-looking women all over the world. She knows that if her sister gives him an ultimatum, that guy's going to be like, see ya. And probably is jealous of this woman of catching a guy like this. I'm willing to bet that plays a factor here. Hang on a second, guys. I hesitated this because I don't want to lose this man just because I can't introduce him as my husband or the state doesn't recognize us as such. He is very principled and strong-willed too, very calm and never raises his voice. I know exactly how it would play out if I issued an ultimatum. Listen to this. He would be upset but tell me he loves me and hopes I will find what I'm looking for. In other words, in a way that's not harmful or nasty, okay, 
See ya. Right? Because this guy is not going to budge. His success, his wealth, and he is, he's not compromising for anything. And what have I told you guys about how women love a challenge? This dude is a challenge. He's not a dick to her, treats her well, all that. But she knows his word is law. And she can't change him. He is a challenge. And women like the challenge. And you can see by what I'm writing here, this girl respects the hell out of this guy, admires this guy. And she knows instinctively, if she gives him an ultimatum nicely, she's out of there. And that's the position you guys want to be in. To have them know that if they screw up, you can replace them. They're going to treat you a hell of a lot better. They're going to be on their best behavior. There are going to be some of you listening to me right now that aren't going to like what I'm saying. I'm going to get a lot of insults. I know it. But at the end of the day, it actually does work both ways. Because if you are in a relationship, man and woman, man and man, woman and woman, whatever it happens to be, if you know that the other person can pick up and leave at any time, both of you are going to do your best to make it work. Be loving, supportive, helpful. Take care of yourselves physically. You're not going to get fat and out of shape because the other person is going to lose attraction. You're going to try harder. You're going to make it work. But once you're locked into a marriage, as I'm sure many of you know darn well, that incentive to be the best version of yourself goes out the door. People stop taking care of themselves physically. They get fat and out of shape. They stop making the effort to date. A lot of the women certainly stop sleeping with the guy. That's a very common thing. Lots of things. People are better off not married, in a relationship, if that's what they want to do, and go from there. See how happy she is. Do you think that she's going to be the same towards him once a ring's on her finger? I think not. She goes on, I completely understand where he is coming from, and I admit that the actual difference between being married and lifetime boyfriend and girlfriend is mostly paperwork. But am I crazy to think I would be unfulfilled without that paperwork? Well, this is going to depend on her, but society has brainwashed people that they got to get married and do all that for happiness. And guess what? There ain't no happiness. Occasionally, you have a couple that's married and they're happy, but it's rare. I have a couple friends that are like that. My parents were like that, but it's rare. And it's just a different world out there right now. He states he will do everything that I want, including buying me a ring, throwing a wedding type of event, with a dress and the whole ordeal. Honeymoon, everything. Even saying we can choose to tell people we are married if it makes me feel better. But insisting marriage is off the table for him. See, this guy's doing everything, and not in a way that he's a doormat or pushover. He's doing all these things because he obviously cares about her and knows it's important to her. But he ain't marrying her. Uh Uh-uh. He has asked me if there is anything in marriage besides a title that he could provide for me as a boyfriend, and honestly, I can't think of anything. Well, she's not going to say that ring on my finger means that I got that insurance that you're not going to kick me to the curb when I start getting wrinkles and my boobs start sagging. But she's not going to say that. Some of you may not like what I just said, but I'm being honest here. Lastly, while I know he is trying to protect his money, he does spoil me and does spend a lot on me, us, and makes me feel very secure. We take several major trips a year to Europe and elsewhere, always first class. He has bought me a very nice car, flown my family and friends to visit several times, and us to visit them. So not only is he doing all these nice things for her, he's doing it for her family. And I'm willing to bet you the sister... Her sister, who earlier in the article telling to give him an ultimatum, she's probably gone on some of these trips. And she is jealous as as hell of her sister. Hence, give him the ultimatum. Goes on to say, He gives significant gifts for birthdays, Valentine's Day, Christmas, and pays for everything in our lives, from groceries, gas, to my shopping trips. He pays my credit cards, student loans, and has taught me a lot about money and also protects me financially, as well making me put 50% of my income in my own retirement account. This shows you right there how much she sees this guy as an alpha and how much respect she has. When this guy can make her put 50% of her money, her after-tax income, in retirement. Believe me, women love to spend money. 
And so you're trying to, a guy trying to tell her, you will save money. Good luck there. Now, yes, he spends money on her, but I guarantee you, when they take all these great trips and everything, restaurants and trips all over the world, he's doing it because it's something he enjoys and he's bringing her along with him for the ride. Okay? He's just not doing it probably just to make her happy. Again, she's got a hell of a nice life. So what the hell's the problem? But we know. He certainly spends well over my 90K income on me slash us per year. So he isn't shortchanging me there. And it finishes up with her asking the question, am I overreacting? Does anyone have experience with not marrying and just being partners for life, regardless of what others say? Should I be okay with the situation and stop worrying about semantics or labels? Well, I'm going to guess she's probably directing that question to women, and she shouldn't trust women because a lot of women reading it would probably say, no, you should do an ultimatum because they'd be jealous that they don't have these nice things. But I would tell her to stay with the guy. Treat him great. Treat him great. Love him. Support him, all that. And this guy will probably stay with you to the day he dies. And you can enjoy that life. End of story. If she doesn't treat him great, she starts having an attitude and getting bitchy, she's out of there. But this probably is going to end in one of two ways. Either A, she'll accept the fact that she can have this great life, but they're not going to get married, and she'll continue to try to like nudge him along. Try to She'll probably bring it up from time to time, but ultimately submit, have a great life, but always have that little uh, challenge in place. And he'll probably treat her great, and she'll enjoy a nice life. Or two, eventually she'll wear him down, he'll cave, and what's going to happen? The second that ring is on that finger, things will change. Even though she may not think that way, even though she may not feel that way, guaranteed, because plenty of you guys out there have been married know this, it will change. Like Just like that. So, But anyhow, guys, I thought this was a good uh, thing to go over. Again, you see how important that ring is on the finger, being the bride. We know darn well it's about that day, the center of attention, but also the insurance, the security. And the other thing, like I said, guys, you can see through this article just how her description of him, how she admires him, respects him, that's what you guys want. So for you guys, again, that are dating in relationships, don't get involved with a woman that makes a lot more money than you, has higher status than you. Not because you should feel insecure of her success or money, but because you know darn well, if you are a higher status than her and you make more money than her, she is going to treat you better. She's going to respect you more. Because I've done countless articles that show what happens when the woman makes far more money than the guy, higher position than the guy, the way they treat him is not the same. Okay? And again, if you guys, relationships, dating, all that, you want the woman you're dating or in a relationship with to treat you and see you the way this woman sees this guy. Okay? Life's short. You don't need someone that just has an eh attitude about you. Okay? So, what I say, what I talk about may not be popular with a lot of people, but I'm keeping it real here. I'm not giving any bullshit. Again, I've had 42 years on this planet. I've experienced a hell of a lot, a lot more than I have let out in my videos. And I know what other people have experienced, heard countless stories. So I'm going to tell you the truth. So some people may not like it. And if you don't like it, hey, plenty of other channels that you can go bitch at and carry on about because I'm going to keep saying what's real and what I've experienced. And others have. So, all right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.